$6,153.36. Woo! So he made $6,100 something dollars and 33 cents in one day. But these people have the supply. And since you're using this business model right here, the copy and paste rental business model, you don't have to get any equipment or deal with anything like that. And to prove that you can make up to $12,000 renting out tables and chairs, I'm going to show you a video I found. And then after that, right after that, I'm going to show you how to do it without owning the tables and chairs and the party supply. $1,200? That's it. For that. <laughs> That's it. And we got four more deliveries? What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming to another entrepreneur video. And in today's video, we have a party rental business located in the Ventura County. But Okay, so this is about making $1,200 in an hour. They're not even calculating how much it'll be in a month. But I'm going to show you how much you can make per month without any of the equipment or the supplies. They service all the surrounding areas. The homie Brian rents tables, chairs, and so much more for your birthday parties, your baby showers, your interventions. Okay, so this is one of my favorite niches right here. So this is for birthday parties, this is for, you know, weddings, you know, uh, conventions, all of that stuff. These are the party supplies. But inside the copy and paste rentals, we have party bus rentals, vacation home rentals, and we have exotic car rentals I'm gonna show you. Keep watching. And today, you're gonna see the struggles of starting a business like this, but also how much it makes per delivery, and per day, and let me tell you, it's a lot. I think I'm in the wrong business. Nah, I like YouTube too much. But anyways, let's get started. Brian, I thought you were gonna have a team member or something with you. No, this is my team member right here, bro. The dolly right there? The dolly's a team member. All right, so for those of you who don't like to be on the grind or the hustle, I'm gonna show you a more copy and pasted virtual way of doing this same business model where you don't have to deal with the equipment. You don't be having to use a dolly to pull stuff off the truck or even do the deliveries. We're just gonna pass off the job and split the payments. You understand? You get the money first. You touch the cash first. And then your partner, him, this guy right here, or a partner like him in your city that has the supply, they'll do the deliveries and everything and you move on to the next sale. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> no lunch breaks. No lunch breaks. That's right. I don't have to pay him. <laughs> hey, hey Brian, just so you know, I would help you out, but I got my chunk last today, Brian, you know? <laughs> it's not the whole truck, right? Half of it? It's half of that truck. Yeah. All right. But I got the world's record Guinness for unloading a truck in less than five minutes. Okay. Can't wait to see this. Okay. You wanna see that? You gotta drop the knowledge. All right, Brian, we're done with the first drop off. We're done with the first drop off. So we just put well, that a- That was it, just dropping it off, couple tables? That's it. <laughs> That's it. We'll spend like an hour here. Yeah. Maybe less. All right, let me ask you, does it take longer to set up or break down? In this particular situation, it probably took longer just to talk to the customer. <laughs> just because she they didn't know. They didn't know where to set up, exactly. Does that happen a lot? Um, um, we try to so this is the part you want to avoid right here guys so a lot of you might find this business model attractive but when you get out there on the actual road and you got to like pull over uh talk to them see where they want to set up and they looking all confused and uh, they, they haven't even calculated the amount of space it's going to take up in the property or whatever um <laughs> You got to talk to them and you got to unload and set it up in most of these cases. And if you don't have enough money to be paying for a helper, like this guy doesn't have a helper. So he has to do all of this himself. So it took him over an hour to do this drop off and delivery. But he, he's going to show you how much you made, which is decent. It's way better than the little nine to five that you guys, uh, most of you guys have. And you're trying to currently escape $400, $500 deliveries and stuff. I mean, most of y'all don't make that a week. So if you can do this, but I'm going to show you how to do this virtually without having to do all he has to do. Make sure that, uh, that things like that don't happen because obviously we're going to be wasting time. Right. So for the most part, if, if there's setup included, um, we ask either for a layout, blueprints, maps, where you want the tables and chairs and everything. That way, when we uh, when we get to the location, It'll be a lot boom, we just set up and I say, yeah. we know exactly what we're doing. Hey, but I mean, we spent an hour over here about, that's how much you charge them? That's how much you charge them. Mm -hmm. How much? Bro, I could have talked to him for an extra few minutes. Let me see real quick. $1,200? $1,200 off of one delivery and setup, guys. Now, the way I'm going to show you how to do this in a copy and paste rental model, all right, you'll get, I will say, maybe 40% of that. Why? Because you're not going to be the one driving out there. You don't have to deal with gas and gratuity. You don't have to deal with uh, talking to the customer or customer support or service. You don't have to deal with insurance and setting it up. And if you break something, what you got to pay, you don't have to deal with any of that. So if you can get 40% or 30% from each one of these freaking deals, guys, and you got multiple deals going out, at the same time, because you're online, this allows leverage. Internet allows leverage. You can be talking to him in one city. You can have a partner 
partner in another city, you can have a partner in another city, and they're all doing deals every single day. You see how that can quickly add up to over $10,000 a day sometimes, but we ain't gonna get you in the fantasy world. Let's keep going. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And we got four more deliveries? And we got four like more five deliveries. more deliveries to go? Five more deliveries, yo. Stick around all the way to the end so you see how much you make in one day. Hey, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. no, but do you have a lot of expenses? Or, uh, see. No? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later <laughs> on. All right, let's go to this location. <laughs> So 1200 in one freaking delivery in one hour. How many of you guys have made $1,200 in an hour if you still have a nine to five job? Most of you can't say that. So that's why you wanna keep watching this because even though I'm gonna show you a more abbreviated version of this, what if you were making $400, $500 an hour off of somebody else's equipment, somebody else's delivery and, uh, and labor costs? You understand what I'm saying? You have no overhead. You understand what I'm saying? So we're gonna see how much he's making. <laughs> All right, man, so we're at the second location. What are you dropping off? We're dropping off uh, 58 of these silver Chivari chairs with the cushion. It's only delivery, no setup. It should be easy. Wait, that's it? Just the 58 chairs? Just the 58 chairs. Mm. That's it. Hey, 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 hey. No, hey, say something, y'all. Comments. Say something in the comments, y'all. Hey, that's it. Uh, uh. Look, hey, Alright guys, I was gonna help him out, but the chairs are just too heavy. And I'm gonna try to break my back over here, right? I don't got health insurance. You might be wondering, Ray, I thought you were Mexican. Nah, bro, I'm not that Mexican. How much was telling me up there, Brian? This is um 620. So second delivery is what? 624 dollars just about dropping off. 58 uh, chairs. I think it was no, not even no tables or anything. He just had to drop off 58 chairs and he made $624. They're going to calculate at the end, like how much he made throughout the total day. Uh, but like I said, guys, you can easily make a couple racks per day using this business model. And I'm going to show you how to do this and get started with only 97 freaking bucks. What if you can make $5,000 a day off of a $97 freaking investment, guys, doing this and you don't have any overhead you don't have any employees no staff you don't have to hire anybody learn any operations purchase any insurance worry about anything breaking slip fall lawsuits none of that extra stuff i'm gonna show y'all how to kill it before wait how much you charge for chairs like that six dollars six dollars a chair six dollars and what was it like 50 chairs 58 chairs 58 chairs wait that, that comes up to like three four hundred what else do you charge for delivery Delivery? Yeah, my time. How much is that? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put a number on that. What's up? <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, Brian, I got a question for you, man. Sure. So, what are your expenses for this business? My expenses for this business? Um, well, definitely labor. Uh, you do have a, an employee, right? I, I do have two employees, so labor would be expense. Uh, um, cleaning. Uh, it takes your, a lot of time. Your vans, My are they paid for? So his main investments are his van, the cleaning, and his one employee. All of those investments, right, all of those expenses, I mean, are deleted when you go to the first paying comment and join the copy and paste rental course plus community for 97 bucks because you don't have any offline dealings. Your partners that you're gonna partner with that we show you what to do with, they have to handle the, you know, renting of the vehicles, the cleaning of the merchandise, handling of the equipment, the training of the staff, and you guys don't have to do that. So you guys are lucky you came across this video, ain't you? Or are you still making payments on it? One, one of my, my vans, the van is paid for, um, this car, this truck is brand new. The other truck is also brand new. So I guess, you know, uh, trucks will be an expense. Obviously, gas. The gas. How much does it cost to fill up? Um, this one about uh, 55, 60 dollars, I'll say. Okay. <laughs> What's one bad thing about this business that people might not see? Like for example, you know, I see you just bringing out the chairs, the tables, and that's it. Hella easy. <laughs> But what's one bad thing or something that people might not see behind the scenes? Well, it's, it, it looks easy um, because we already have all the equipment, right? I mean, meaning like we already got the dollies, we, we already got the straps, we got, you know, the, the lift gates, the truck. But uh, what people don't see is that um, there is, we need a lot of space to, to storage all these, uh, mm. all these tables and chairs. That's another and expense, right? Another expense that you don't have to deal with if you do this online using the copy and paste rental model. You don't need space. So that means they have to rent out either storage units or some type of little, small mini little warehouse or property or something that they can hold all of this stuff in, guys. 
right? Because you have to hold, house your assets somewhere until people, uh, you know, request to rent these things out. Okay, so I mean, guys, it's an awesome business model. But as we go deeper, as he asks more questions, you'll see that more expenses come out and start digging into the, you know, the amount of money that he's making per day. Their storage, a, uh, storage is another expense. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I saw that you only have that one storage. Uh, we only have that one storage. Yeah, and it was packed already, bro. Uh, and I tried to use the restroom. I couldn't. Even, there, was a, there was a chair in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and that's and, well. And to be honest with you, that's like halfway empty because obviously yesterday we, we did more deliveries. Uh, but when it's when it's when it's full and packed, you can't even walk in there. There's just no way, you know. Mm. Um, okay. All right, Brian. So one thing you were telling me was, I'm riding along with you, making a lot of money, but you say there's a lot of work behind the scenes because we're just dropping off right now. Right. But you have to pick up, and that takes what. The same amount of time or longer? That takes probably a little longer, depending on how organized the customers are. <laughs> See, that's not calculated, guys. Like, he made the 1200 in that first trip, but that's gonna cover pick, uh, drop off and pickup, guys. So, like, don't forget, if your back hurting from dropping it off in the morning, you understand what I'm saying? Like, then you're definitely gonna need a, a masseuse without the happy ending, you know what I'm saying, by the end of the day, you understand? So like, it's not like he's getting paid 1200 to drop it off and then 1200 again to come and pick it up again. That'll be awesome, but that's not what's happening, guys. So I don't want y'all to get in la-la land like, yo, this is just easy. This is gonna be physically demanding, which is why he has a helper, but just for this case, since he got uh, uh, Ray, Ray is a rise, I forgot how you say his name, he doesn't have his helper with him. So he gotta deliver all of this stuff and drop it off by himself and then circle back around and pick it up. So Super athletic standard. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So picking up, but then you're telling me that when we're done with our day, well, delivering, we're gonna go back to your warehouse and pack up again for tomorrow's delivery. Exactly. Yeah. Damn. So that's a lot, man. How? When do you end your day? Uh, <laughs> um, so I usually end my day like around like eight, nine p.m. Um, but it depends, though. Like. There has been times where like at 4 p.m. we you know we're already out we're already you know done with the mm. day but it kind of depends if it's a busy day more than likely it will be sometime at around 10 p.m. or so so, so it's a full day shift day to night damn bro because i mean we started we started at nine but you were ready since eight you know uh, hey and, oh i was i was ready yeah. till six hey <laughs> uh, the, the la traffic bro it's coming slipping man i was one hour late because of the la traffic hey i appreciate you man i appreciate you but anyways a lot of work, but just to show you it's possible. You gotta grind and hey, just don't give up. He's been he's been off six thousand one hundred fifty-three dollars and thirty-six cents. Woo! So he made six thousand one hundred uh something dollars and thirty-three cents in one day. But I'm gonna show you how to do this without having a truck, without having the party equipment, and without having any cost of labor or overhead. Okay, so we're right here on Google, guys. And if you see, there is keywords for this right here. It's called rent tables and chairs. And you can type in pretty much any city because they're gonna have conventions and events and parties in every freaking city. So what do we do with that? We're just gonna start with San Diego. So you guys are going to create the demand. You wanna create the demand, guys, okay? These people have the supply. And since you're using this business model right here, the copy and paste rentals business model, you don't have to get any equipment or deal with anything like that. And none of these people are your competition. All of them are your collaborators and your partners. So what does this mean? It solves the supply for you, right? That means you have endless supply. Anytime you get a lead or a call for somebody that wants to rent out tables and chairs, you will never have to turn anybody down. They do right? Because they're competition since they have the supply. But since you create the demand, all of them and your partners, you'll be able to take the sale every single time. And as you can see, he made up to 6,000 freaking dollars in one day, just doing drop off and pick up. Now, you don't have to do the drop off. You don't have to do the pick up. You don't have to do any hiring there with any customers. And what if you got 40% of that 6,000 that he made that day? Now that's crazy, ain't it? Now come over here in the first pin comment and you'll see all of the testimonials on the copy and paste rentals web website stop watching testimonials and become one though coach keith hit 140k in less than 90 days that's more than your freaking doctor there's more than most of the local businesses out there and if you don't make your first one to 3k in 14 days we will pay you for every assignment you successfully completed just to know that you actually tried who does that who cares about you that way you understand what i'm saying so 
This business model has breeded so many testimonials, so many success stories. And the good news for you is most people that actually implement what I teach them, they experience sales in the first 24 to 48 hours showing them, doing what I told them to do. Okay, so let's get your success story going. Go to the first pin comment because this is the last week that it will be $97 to get in. We're going to bump this up. As you can see, this business model is crazy. It works, make a lot of money, and you guys can do it too. So take your $97 and do something that's going to bring you more money back.